What's up everyone, Trent here from Movie Nerds. This week, the ultimate trailer of the year dropped in Avengers Affinity War. And what we're going to do is we're going to break down the key moments from the trailer so you guys know what to expect and also what we're guessing may happen. So the trailer opens up with a planet and it's very electrifying. We don't know where it is from with Samuel L. Jackson doing a voiceover saying that the Avengers started as an idea. Obviously we know it's grown to much more than this and this is where Infinity War is really going to pick up. Now the next scene we see Tony Stark in quite a bleak picture, quite emotional and distraught holding onto someone's hand. Now my first thoughts were that this could be Spider-Man. As we see later on in the trailer, Spidey kind of gets beaten up by Thanos. But, looking at the hand, it's quite grubby and it's also not gloved or costumed. So, this leads me to believe that it'd be someone very close to Tony. And to have emotional weight, I mean, War Machine's already paralyzed, something's already happened to him. So, through process of elimination, Pepper Potts is most likely the next obvious choice. And that would give Tony a really good reason for feeling so emotional and this raw emotion take control of him. In the next scene, we see Bruce Banner, who was last seen in Thor Ragnarok, crash landing through what looks to be Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum, where Stephen Strange and Wong find him lying in a crater, looking at each other perplexed. And then the next scene's a very interesting scene, because we've seen the relationship between Scarlet Witch and Vision grow significantly in the process of the films, but something we haven't seen before is Vision in his human form. He still has the Mind Stone attached to his head, and that'll come into play later on so they're hinting that Scarlet Witch and Vision have had a romance that was hinted at Age of Ultron and it seems like this has flourished now. Here's our first look at Thor he looks like he's in a spaceship possibly after being found by the Guardians and this is interesting so we've already had Bruce Banner crash landing on Earth in New York we assume that that's possibly after Thanos attacks the ship of Asgardians at the end of Thor Ragnarok but now he's found in Wakanda. Is this happening before he crash lands? Is that after an attack with Thanos? Or does he then travel to Wakanda to help Tony build the Hulkbuster armor? It's very difficult to tell when these sequence of events are happening. But Wakanda is quite a significant focus in this trailer. And you can see by the background just how technologically savvy they are in the jungle. And the key thing in this frame is the Hulkbuster armor that he's building. The giant fist. <laughs> it's a bit like Doomfist from uh, Overwatch. Scarlett Johansson with blonde hair. In the first poster that released, I actually thought she had grey hair, possibly due to Thanos using one of the Infinity Stones to age her, but this is confirmed that it is in fact blonde. The whole tone of this trailer is very sombre, very bleak and very dark. It's showing that there's impending doom, and just the, the trumpets and the horn section from Silvestri's track really stand out. It's a great, it's a great soundtrack. We see Tony with Doctor Strange and Bruce Banner. He's the first one to run out, so obviously he's aware that something is going on. And you can see it looks like chaos through the windows outside. And it may lead into this next scene. Where we get a glimpse of Peter Parker and his spider sense for the first time in the MCU. He sees a ring-shaped object in the sky. It could possibly be a portal. It could be a ship for some of Thanos' Black Order. There's very little detail what it is. A couple of frames down it looks like a turbine kind of thing so that would make sense for it to be a portal um, but it also looks like Spidey could be one of the first on scene here to go and investigate but it looks like there's some uh, destruction in Greenwich Village with Strange and Iron Man and Wong and Banner all staying there it's interesting we get to see what a lot of people guessed happened at the end of Thor Ragnarok with Loki holding the Tesseract um, for those who don't know the Tesseract contains the Space Stone and that was in Odin's treasure vault. So before the end of Ragnarok, before Asgard was destroyed, it appears Loki did in fact take it and that's why Thanos intercepted, or appears to have intercepted the Asgardian ship at the end of Ragnarok. And here's our first look at Thanos. A lot of people are saying that he's, that he's not right, they should have given him the armor. I really like it. It's still six months out from production and he's still quite purple. Every time someone's seen him purple, uh, in the other films, it has been quite dark. So he's coming into light here. So his skin's not obviously going to be as dark as it normally would be. But I think he still looks quite imposing and menacing despite looking like Bruce Willis. And here's our first look at uh, Peter in his new armor. The armor that was seen at the end of Homecoming when Tony offered to join the Avengers, it appears that he's got that. So when this happens, 
no one knows. Obviously Spidey's been active since Homecoming. Whether this is towards the end of the film or the middle of the film, something, something should happen in the film that makes Peter reconsider Tony's offer and give that suit because he's, he's not seen with the other suit in, in this trailer at all. It looks epic. Now this is a very interesting scene. Thor with what appears to be some type of machine or portal. There's no context given to what this is. One theory that's been shot about is that this is how he's actually going to make his hammer. Yarn, uh, the hammer very similar to uh, Yarnborn. It's not the same as Mjolnir. Mjolnir was born in the light of a dying star, but this appears to be quite similar to that because he has a, gl a glow to it and it looks like he's standing in front of what could be a star. Also, it could be some type of portal device. Who knows? He's in space with the Guardians. It would make sense that this is how he gets some sort of weapon or uses his um, powers that he's now discovered that he is actually the source of to create something. And we get a quick glimpse of the first of Thanos' Black Order in Proxima Midnight, throwing a spear at a person in the shadows. A lot of people are thinking that this is Black Panther. I think it could be Steve Rogers based on the reflexes that are shown. And also later in the trailer when Panther says, get that man a shield, he's coming out of the shadows and it looks like it could be very reminiscent of this scene. There it is right there. He's got, it's the same background the same brick texture so I think Midnight has thrown that spear at Steve and Steve like the badass that he is has caught it one handed with his reflexes. I'm really dying to see Proxima Midnight versus Steve Rogers now. And look what's back, Hulkbuster fully assembled, you can see Wakanda in the background looking really technological and amazing. Widow looks like she could be going up against another one of the Black Order. Now these aliens that are fighting are very reminiscent of uh, the Chitari. Whether it is still the Chitari or whether they've gone for another type of alien species such as the Badoon, it's yet to be seen, um, but they are working for Thanos and invading Wakanda. And you can see Black Panther there fighting off one of the monsters. Wakanda seems to be a target, presumably searching for the final Infinity Gem, the Soul Stone. It would make sense because Wakanda has the Necropolis where the Black Panther is able to communicate with the souls of the previous Panthers and the Panther Gods, and it would make sense for the Soul Stone to provide that power. Oh, poor Spidey. Thanos going up against Spidey and absolutely destroying him, pinning him to a wall. And it's interesting, Thanos is not using the Infinity Gauntlet at all in this trailer. Even when he punches Iron Man later, it's always with his ungloved hand. So whether he's channeling the power of the Infinity Stones throughout his body remains to be seen. But it looks like all the Avengers are quite a pushover for Thanos at this point. And we get a second glimpse at another of Thanos' Black Order. It's not a full glimpse, but it is what looks to be the scepter of Corvus Glaive attacking Vision and trying to retrieve his Mind Stone. The fun fact about Corvus Glaive's staff is that it is supposedly able to cut through anything and also gives him the power of immortality. Thanos has collected two gems so far in this trailer. The purple one being the Power Stone and the blue one being the Space Stone. So the Space Stone is what he would use to teleport to a location as he did earlier in the trailer. And you can see here, he's already achieved the Power Stone. The Power Stone we know was on Xandar. So it would be safe to assume that either in Black Panther, we get a clip where he's attacking Xandar to get the stone or as one of the earlier scenes in the movie, he would attack Xandar. Or even if it's done off screen, who knows? We only ever see Thanos with his menacing Infinity Gauntlet with two gems in this trailer. So this leads me to believe that this scene here is probably happening around the halfway point of the trailer. I've got a theory going that I think the movie's going to end with Thanos retrieving the final Infinity Stone and the heroes being absolutely defeated. So I, I have a feeling that all this battle in New York where Tony's being decimated and the Avengers are being destroyed is quite early or at the halfway point in the film and then the rest of the film would might take place in Wakanda. We get our first look at Sebastian Stan returning as Bucky with a newly forged arm and this is the this is one of the money shots it looks like a full-on Lord of the Rings battle with the masses of Thanos's army going against the Wakandans and you can see in this scene here that there's actually a lot of fire going on it looks like Wakanda's burning quite significantly and there's the money shot 
the slow motion Avengers team up run. What's interesting about this is that Hulk is the strongest and the rest of them are all of the essentially non-powered Avengers. These are the humans that are going against Thanos and the Black Order and you've got the Wakandan army charging forward. And having Sylvester's score play over this, that was absolutely epic. One thing to note in that final, in that final scene is Captain America. He's still not wearing a shield, or it's a shield that's not visible. It wouldn't surprise me if the gloves that he's got on, they are Wakandan type gloves. In the 90s, he developed a uh, psionic shield that was made of energy. It would be quite interesting to see that come into play in this film. He's not wearing a shield on his back, so an electronic psionic shield could appear from one of those gloves, which would be really interesting. And you can see War Machine fully recovered and Falcon running in the background as well. For War Machine, he may have been built an exoskeleton by Tony so he could be mobile again, even though he was getting physical therapy at the end of Civil War. And the final scene, very self-explanatory, probably following up from exactly where Thor Ragnarok finished. I know there have been leaked trailers from Comic-Con and D23 that show this meeting. It would be presumably quite early in the movie where Thor meets the Guardians. And I have a feeling that all of them will come together in the final act of the film. And there you have it. There's some of our theories and what we see going on in Avengers Infinity War trailer. Keep your eyes peeled for the next trailer that comes out. We'll do a breakdown of that as well. It hits cinemas in May 2018 in the US and earlier in some international vendors. Australia gets it on April 25th. Yes. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments. Did we miss anything? Make sure you subscribe and like movie nerds.